Yeah, I was recording. I have no idea how long I've been going on, but though, so I, it's kind of hard my camera's going, but yeah, I didn't stop there, so it's a two par. Hey! We can't be out there, so it's just got to be a two par. Um, but yeah, but the anime reviews are coming along. Uh, I'll try and get Apple Seed out today, as I said. Uh, I've got to review both of them as one big review, and then I'm going to get my other one out. Um, oh, plane! I don't know if you can see it. Plane! <laughs> but yeah. Uh, the apple seed review is going to I also just got Graveyard of the Fireflies uh, from Amazon and also V for Vendetta. So Graveyard of the Fireflies, I have my physical copy of it. I also have my physical copy of V for Vendetta, which I'm still getting my way through the graphic novel. But once I'm done with the graphic novel, I will review the graphic novel and the movie. And compare them and say which is better, the source or the uh, adaptation. I will get to them when I can. I'm taking my time with V for Vendetta. At the moment, I'm reading three things. Viva Vendetta, Blood Elves, The Witcher series, and Game of Thrones. Reading three things at the same time, not a bad step. Bad step, don't fucking do it. <laughs> um, also, if you follow me on Twitter, you know I've been learning to draw manga style characters. Uh, just felt like it, that's coming along really well. Still having a bit of trouble with the hair, but I expected that because hair is a bitch. It could be, look at me, mine's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> um, but the reason I wanted to do that is just because I was a bit bored and I've always wanted to learn to draw but it's just uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube that can help me, I found some awesome tutorials uh, so I'm learning to draw manga just for the sheer fucking lulls of it uh, I also don't know what else I can talk about I don't know, I guess I could just walk a little bit uh, I'm gonna worry I'm gonna get lost in here I think there's a bog, no it's not a bog, it's just a big puddle uh, do I go in there? I end up getting I go in there. I ain't coming back out. Um, how's I don't know what else I can talk about. Uh, I've also got a surprise coming in the mail thanks to a client member at Dark Streetful. But I don't want to say what it is just yet. Uh, it's something that it basically when I heard the news about it, I squeed. I very rarely squee, but I squeed. Uh, but I will show you that once it comes in the mail, it's something that basically will make about half of you jealous and make me squee even more. Do I say what it is? And Dark Street 4, if you're watching this, don't comment and tell me tell them what it is. I want to be a surprise. Uh, I really don't know what else I could say. I, uh, I guess I could talk a wee bit about how my life's going, I guess. And I'm going to be honest, uh, college is coming along well. Uh, I'm getting my course done. That's coming along. The only thing that's kind of bumming me out every day is job hunting. Like, if you don't want to watch this, just cut off. But... I've been hunting for a job for near enough two years now. Like, I made the stupid fucking mistake of deciding to concentrate on my education. And everyone else I know has got a job, but me. I'm gonna be honest, my bad days are the days when I get rejections. Like, get rejected from McDonald's, how the fuck do you get rejected from there? This is gonna be me bitching and moaning, so if you don't want to see that, just click off. But those are the days that really get, get me down and really flare up my depression. It's just, I really get sick and tired of job hunting. I'm going to be honest, and it just gets to me sometimes, and that's the days when you hear me talk about on Twitter and all that I'm having a shitty day, is that I've probably just received a massive fucking pile of rejections for a job, and it really fucking bums me out sometimes. And, uh, but then, what, what cheers me up? You clan. Every single one of you cheer me up, I'm not kidding. Anytime I go on my YouTube channel or Twitter or Facebook, there's always one comment or a group of comments that makes my day. And you always find a way to cheer me up, so I can't thank you for that. Uh, a comment that made my week was, I can't remember, I do apologise, I'm forgetting your username. Uh, but someone basically commented and said, uh, I'm, I'm paraphrasing it, but he basically said that a YouTuber called Arshi and Gaia is the brains and genius of geeks. By the way, he's a fantastic YouTuber and I would highly recommend you check him out. If I can, I'll leave a description, the link in the description to his channel. Uh, he has a post in the well, but I think he's ill at the moment. Uh, but he said that the, the commenter basically said that Arshi and Gaia is the brains and genius of geeks and I'm the heart and passion. And he commented on my Mass Effect Reflections video with that. Which, by the way, all the comments in there have been nothing but positive. That made my week. Um, someone says that. When someone says that, and it, it was sincere, I could tell. It really made my week and made me extremely happy. I never thought anyone would say that to me in a comment. And I can't thank that person enough. I do apologise, I'm forgetting your username. But I have a horrible memory. My memory is like a fucking sieve. Uh, but that comment made my week. And 
it, it really put a smile on my face and any time I feel bad I go back and read those comments and all the comments on the reflections videos have been absolutely fantastic all you have shared your own stories all you have said that I made you cry which I'm, I'm kind of flabbed because I was crying in that video um, but I must admit the Master Rate Reflections video has been nothing but positive and I can't thank you enough for that um, I, I, it did tear me up every time I think about all the comments and you did make me happy thanks um, I got to thank you all for keeping me sane because it really is nice to have some loyal loyal clan members who who know how to cheer me up, I'm not going to lie. Uh, you definitely know how to cheer me up, so thanks for that. Um, I, as I say, that's the kind of thing that makes me glad to do this on YouTube, even if it's just like I'm a small fish in a massive ocean. Um, it just make, it makes my day reading comments like that, and I do appreciate every single one of them. I've said this, I says, whenever I say thank you to you, I do mean it from the bottom of my heart because without you, I wouldn't keep making these videos, so it's a major thank you to all of you, I can't thank you enough. Oh, I do apologise for that. I burped. Uh, but I honestly, it's those comments that make my day and whenever someone messages me and tells me that they picked up a game because of me, that really, really really gets me gets me in the heart um, so thank yous for that, I really do appreciate that as I said I've also had people say they picked up Mass Effect because of me and I never thought that would be possible but I can't thank yous now any time I think about it I just can't help but thank yous and yous are all fantastic for that, every member of the clan I can't thank yous enough um, I have set a subscriber goal for those who don't know to, for 800 subscribers by April 13th um, I, do, I will keep reminding you of it just in case uh, some of you forget because I know I forget sometimes. Um, but I also want to talk a wee bit about 1,000 subscribers. Um, that is quite a while off. I don't think we'll hit that this year. I'm, I'm going to be all, I, I never think we're going to hit any subscriber goal ever, but you always surprise me, so I wouldn't be surprised if we hit 1,000 by the end of this year. But 1,000 subscribers, I really would love to do something special for that, and that's, that's something that I honestly don't think we'll hit anytime soon. Like, I don't think we'll hit it this month or next month. If we do, I'd be very surprised. Um, but, uh, it is something that I want to have in, in mind. And one of my favourite 1,000 subscriber celebration was MD's. Um, I loved her one, where she basically just got people showing off, like, showing off different reasons why they subscribed to her, why they liked her. Uh, a poster as well, that, that 100 subscriber poster that she's got in her background of all videos. I'm thinking about getting something along those lines, but for 1,000 subscribers, um, I have found a site that does make custom posters that are kind of pricey though, so it would be a once in a lifetime thing, it'd be one poster, you just wouldn't be able to get it. But I'm thinking about doing something along those lines, maybe getting a, a poster for 1,000 subscribers made. Um, I, I'd say is once we get closer and closer to it, I will, give you more details about it but at the moment uh, we're way off from 1,000 like as it says if we hit 1,000 subscribers by April 13th like even if we hit 800 subscribers by April 13th that would be a massive feat if we hit 1,000 subscribers by April 13th I will do an entire video topless for you guys and girls of the clan I don't know how many people would watch that but I would do a whole video for a full month topless and I'd probably lose like a million subscribers. I'd probably get. I'd probably be the first YouTuber to about to get negative a thousand comments. <laughs> Sorry, negative a thousand subscribers. Oh, the sun. Uh, I do apologise, it's a bit of glare. Uh, but that's something that I do think about every now and then. Like, am I going to ever hit one thousand subscribers? And if I'm going to be honest, it's just my mind that goes. I don't think I ever will. But you surprise me on a daily basis with your comments, um, your video responses, everything. You surprise me every day, clan. And I can't thank you enough for that. So. As I say, 1,000 subscribers is way off in my opinion, but you guys are fantastic and you probably will end up doing that. And Girls of the Clan, of course. So thank you for that, I can't thank you enough. Um, I guess I could talk a wee bit about the podcast. Um, just, just, I can't fucking see this. Okay, I'm going to have to cut this part, so give me a minute.